This half hour, Zimbabwe's movement for democratic change says that armed men, believed to be central intelligence organization operatives, attempted to abduct party leader Nelson Chamisa as he returned to Harare from a rally in Marondera late on Saturday afternoon. The MDC says that Chamisa's convoy was blocked by a vehicle, one of six that have been observed tailing the opposition leader's motorcade near the Mabvuku, a, a suburb of Harare. Well, to talk more on the story, we're now joined by Nelson Chamisa's spokesperson, Mr. Kululeko Sebanda, via Skype. Very good evening to you, sir. We thank you very much for joining us on The Full View this evening. Uh, can you give us more details around the incident that took place yesterday afternoon? Good evening and thank you for having me. As you have already alluded, uh, the president's convoy was uh, uh, disturbed uh, with was attempted, attempted uh, attacks and the attempted uh, uh, kidnapping of the president as he returned from Marwandera yesterday. Uh, the president uh, safely left the scene uh, after the intervention of his uh, uh, security details in terms of making sure that the president was able to continue with his journey uh, back to, to Arare. Uh, the party uh, is certainly very concerned. The country and the world at large must be concerned about uh, such events, especially given the lax manner in which the government of uh, President uh, Emerson Nangagwa has been uh, attending to the use, management and control of the violent state operators and actors. At this point in at this point in time, are you able to give us any details about his uh, condition and well-being at the moment? Uh, the president is report is reportedly in uh, good spirits, uh, carrying on with the work he needs to uh, embark on in order to return our country to full legitimacy in order to move our country forward. He seized with uh, that kind of work and continues to do that. Uh, he is uh, uh, bullish, uh, undisturbed, uh, but uh, his uh, party is concerned about uh, his security. Yeah, definitely. In terms of those security concerns, have there been talks to increase the uh, security and policing contingent around Mr. Chamisa? The president is still um, reviewing this matter and uh, the course of action will be, uh, he will uh, detail that uh, shortly. We must note that uh, this is certainly not the first incident in the last 30 days. He has also experienced similar incidences within our area itself where he was being followed by uh, vehicles everywhere he went uh, and is had to dodge these. But I think that uh, it is important uh, and many independent analysts have said uh, the government of Zimbabwe must make sure that uh, it does not subject the security of the president of the MDC to a propaganda or uh, media PR um, uh, game. Uh, the, 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 the MDC president's security is not negotiable. It is not subject to uh, who can speak louder. It must be guaranteed uh, by, as it is by the Constitution, uh, as is the security of uh, the citizens of the country. The Constitution of Zimbabwe uh, recognizes the right to life for everybody, and people cannot circle political um, difficulties that they have by uh, attempting to kidnap the leader of the largest political party in the country. Are you then saying that this could possibly be linked to the possible political tensions that are currently taking place in Zimbabwe? Well, uh, it, it, yes, in the sense that, uh, you know, concerning activities and attitudes towards the respect of life uh, have taken place in Zimbabwe since uh, November 2017. You'll remember that um, uh, even the president of ZANU-PF was uh, uh, attacked by a bomb. And we see that there are certainly elements within the violent uh, apparatus of the state that um, will act very violently when they feel that uh, things are not going their way. So it is very important for the Mnangawa government to get its handle on uh, these matters 
uh, and make sure that uh, they do not um, uh, put the country through a lot of pain and anguish by uh, allowing uh, some individuals or some actors or institutions to act utterly irresponsibly. Uh, regional leaders and the international community must uh, consider uh, advising Nangagwa to act uh, responsibly rather than simply uh, depend on the fact that he wants to claim he will, he's not involved, he doesn't know. Uh, we know he said this about the August 1 incidences, uh, but uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, seven lives were lost and uh, Zimbabwe shouldn't be going through this at all. There must be strong leadership at the top and uh, we are clear that this is failing and it's failing because you have unelected leaders. Yeah, uh, just take us though, you've mentioned calling on the international community to intervene. You also mentioned that this is not the first time in the past 30 days, as well as in the previous years, that there has been uh, firstly an attack on Chamisa's life or possible abduction. What essentially are you calling from both the international uh, community at large and the surrounding Sadek region? I think that it is important to note that um, uh, stability in the region is essential for political, economic and social progress. And that uh, the tendency towards instability that's taking place in Zimbabwe now with um, a skewed uh, move towards uh, the circling of political uh, differences or political inabilities um, by those with arms uh, would inevitably uh, tread the country uh, and, uh, uh, of course, the region uh, and the world into an insecure space. Uh, so it is important for the international community to call upon the uh, Emerson Naga government to make sure uh, with no equivocation or hesitation that uh, President Chamisa and citizens of the country that are opposed to the government remain secure, safe, and that their lives are guaranteed and that this is not subject to a negotiation. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Of course, that was uh, Nelson Chamisa, a spokesperson, Kululeko Sebanda, just giving us more details around uh, the attempted abduction of uh, Nelson Chamisa.